After the huge success of a YouTube channel known as Local58, many similar channels began crawling out of the woodwork claiming to have found lost media between the 1930s and 80s. While many of these started out as carbon copies of Local 58, quite a few have managed to steer away from the original idea and tell their own story. And there is one out there that has intrigued me more than any other. It includes strange videos disguised as documentaries found on VHS tapes, along with its very own video game that is free to play online. Prepare yourselves. We're about to enter the universe of Gemini Home Entertainment. We begin our journey with a VHS tape called World's Weirdest Animals, a documentation of strange animal life found in the American state of Minnesota. The Greater Prairie Chicken Native to Central North America, Greater Prairie Chickens are well known for their prominent air sacs and protruding ear-like feathers. The Burrowing Owl Once found all over the Americas, this small critter is now far more elusive. As their name suggests, these creatures create large burrows for their nests instead of creating ones in trees. All seem to be going well for the first couple of animals, but then we get to Animal 3. Woodcrawlers Found all over North America, these animals are excellent hunters, being able to tread most terrain without making a sound. Their preferred nesting locations are inside of the homes of large families, where large swarms can adapt easier. You will hear screaming. They stole their voices. The video continues with someone recording a family from outside of their home. But just by looking at their stances and the strange movements coming from their mouths, something is clearly wrong. This isn't a home belonging to humans anymore. It's a nest. Burn the bodies, lest they stand up again. It ended shortly after our cameraman was spotted, leaving us to wonder what exactly happened. The next four videos, Storm Safety Tips, The Deep Blue, Artificial Computer Learning, and Our Solar System, may appear to not be connected on the surface, but all serve a purpose to the story. For example, Artificial Computer Learning introduces us to a company known as Regnad Computing, Regnad being danger spelled backwards. The company have been specializing in artificial intelligence using what they claim to be revolutionary methods. They demonstrate this technology by having the system complete a children's story after only being given one sentence about a man named Jack. Each time they do this, the story becomes more cohesive, but at the same time, more sinister constantly talking about the demise of Jack and his friends, leading to the final story having nothing to do with Jack and simply asking us, do we see the hungry eye? The hungry eye is foreshadowing the events in the Our Solar System video, which goes through each planet one by one with an interesting fact we may have not heard of before. That is, until we come to Neptune. It tells us there's a storm raging on. It's mutated. We then cut to a planet that isn't even part of our solar system, known as the Iris, telling us that it's with us now, laughing at us, before featuring something beam off of Neptune and head towards Earth and the rest of the planets within our solar system. On the Deep Blue video, we learn about the ocean and the dangers found beneath. One place in particular they like to point out is the Demisia Tunnel found in the Marianas Trench, hinting towards something living down there beyond our nightmares. 
Nothing can live inside the Marianas Trench. Storm safety tips appears to be an instructional guide on what to do during a storm, but when following each point you'll quickly realise this isn't for any typical storm you've experienced before. Strange sentences such as, your home doesn't belong to you now, or ignore all sounds on the radio because these are auditory hallucinations, potentially suggest something similar to the wood crawlers and invading your home. As we saw in the first video, that home very clearly doesn't belong to humans anymore. But the most interesting part to me is the line, look to the field, before witnessing strange lights appear from it. Not every home has a field they can just look towards, suggesting this tape was made for a specific location. I guess that begs the question though, where? Come visit Moonlight Acres Family Camp. Since our founding, Moonlight Acres has been devoted to family and creating memories. Our campground is as pristine and beautiful as ever, a relic from the past. Camp information video introduces us to a campsite known as Moonlight Acres, a place founded in the 1930s with some great activities such as archery, canoeing, or watching the strange lights in the night sky. There are single cabins, family cabins, and even children cabins that separate the boys and girls with a wonderful amount of activities to keep them entertained. But if there's one thing we are told not to do, it's answer the knocking door. It becomes even stranger when we are told the mythos this campground is built upon. An important part of Moonlight Acres' legacy is its mythos. In 1935, rumors of strange, well-dressed men visiting the camp began to make the rounds. It is said that the men would ask to enter the camp administrator's cabin every night for years. One night, a deal was made with the strange men, and they left the camp, never to be seen again. Another popular myth arose in the 30s, when campgoers began to have sightings of skinwalkers. We cut back to the knocking door before being presented with a segment called Vessels, featuring all victims who answered the door. It's most likely these men in suits were skinwalkers, taking the bodies of whoever answered the door and turning them into vessels. For those unfamiliar with what a skinwalker is, in its simplest description, they are creatures that have the ability to shapeshift into a human form. These creatures tend to be found in the woods and are known to hunt humans if they trespass. While most people suggest these creatures are from the paranormal side of the world, in the documentary Hunt for the Skinwalker, one of the presenters suggests the idea that they could be an alien life form from space. That's an interesting theory considering we saw in the previous video a mutated Neptune sending a beam of light towards Earth. Perhaps the skinwalkers in this universe are extraterrestrial. On the 10th of April 2020, a commercial for a game titled Lethal Omen appeared on the Gemini Home Entertainment channel. It appears to be a game based around Moonlight Acres Camp. To top it all off, it was made by Regnag Computing using its latest AI technology. 
If we travel to the description of the video, we find a link that allows us to download the official Lethal Omen game and play it ourselves. Starting the game will spawn you next to the entrance of Moonlight Acres Camp. The gates won't open until you've found a key for each lock. After gaining entry, we'll see three cabins on each side with a family section blocked off. Inside the cabins, we'll find a couple of beds, a TV, and a bunch of VHS tapes. In some of the rooms, the tapes are actually playing on the television. Continuing on from there, we arrive at the archery and admin quarters. Enemies appear from the bushes and attempt to kill us, but getting past them all and entering the admin's quarters reveal a massive collection of VHS tapes along with pictures on the wall of past employees and iconic areas around the camp. Exploring further around the site leads us to a dead end with a strange monument thing surrounded by bent trees. The words, kill all enemies, appear before us but only one enemy appears out of the trees, a lot slower than the previous ones too. After shooting it a couple of times, it becomes quickly apparent that this thing just won't die. One word appears on screen, run. Running back to the admin's cabin, you'll find a familiar looking bunker with the option to get inside. Ignore all sound produced by the radio. These are auditory hallucinations. The interior features a radio on the ground with strange sounds coming from it. The lights begin to shake as something starts to break through the wall, just before the dome in the center glows bright. We appear outside just as the sun appears to be setting. Heading back towards the entrance of the camp, we begin to hear a man screaming for help. Someone can be seen in the distance. They don't seem to be struggling, they're just standing there. When we get close enough, something begins to rise into the sky, blocking out the sun. You win appears on screen. But that's not all we can find in this game. It turns out there are multiple endings throughout this that give us more information about the camp. Luckily, the YouTube channel MacG uploaded a video featuring all endings that you can discover. One of them can be found in the back room of the admin's cabin. A hidden door is attached to the wall just behind you, which you can get inside by hopping onto the monitors. Inside the secret room, we see a massive pile of TVs and notes scattered across the ground. They're a little hard to read, but from what I can make out, they say this. It's looking into me. Wants to eat the camp. I fear the men may return. My face is going away. I hear voices. The spot on my neck has grown. There's a bonfire tonight. I'll stay in my bedroom. Lights in the skies tonight. I I've been told that the men will be present. Maybe it'll leave us alone now. The notes mention the men from the previous tape, along with something wanting to eat the camp and hoping that it will leave us alone. It's most likely referring to the giant sphere we saw in the original ending, which is most likely the iris from our solar system. But if we look away from the notes and back to the door, we'll see a strange mannequin staring right back at us. <laughs> Another ending can be found by going to the archery section and shooting all the targets you can see. This will give you access to a new area at the beginning of the map with another mysterious structure, along with a hidden area behind the trees. As we continue through the woods, you'll notice the ground suddenly starts to change before encountering some kind of hole. Jumping in will lead to another game over. It's almost as if the ground in this area is infected, mutated, one could say. One of the most interesting endings to this game starts out the same as the last one. Shoot all the targets to unlock the secret area, but then if we go towards the section where we found the invincible creature slowly walking towards us, there's a secret pathway hidden in the trees that leads us to the family cabins. A key can be seen hovering in the sky, and if we collect it and travel back to the secret area, it will now reveal a bunch of enemies standing on each side, waiting for you. 
it looks as though we're going to become some kind of sacrifice. Standing on top of the structure gives us the game over before cutting to the woods at night. Following the path leads us to a room with a TV in the center, which appears to feature a video of the iris. The enemies stand behind us, watching. Jack Wilder's Wilderness Survival Guide gives us a little more context into how these skinwalkers and woodcrawlers work. The image of the bear growing new appendages out of its face and back suggests these skinwalkers and woodcrawlers can take on the form of other animals and not just humans. We are also introduced to a dangerous plant called Nature's Mockery, which is actually something that was mentioned in the very first video after seeing a woodcrawler. It can cause hallucinations, muscular paralysis, and flesh decay. The next segment of stuff Jack asks you to avoid is sounds. The third one being auditory hallucinations. It's the exact same sound we heard during the game. He tells us if we ever hear these sounds to leave the area immediately, but later in the video, Jack actually starts to hear those sounds, and rather using his own advice, he decides to follow it. The man is very clearly not human anymore. As the man heads off, Jack begins to follow him all the way back to his home, which looks eerily similar to the one we saw in the first video. The man appears to be wearing the exact same clothes, and it's been confirmed that this is the same actor too. To add to the theory that these two videos were made by Jack, a community post can be found on the YouTube channel featuring a news article talking about the disappearance of Jack Dean Wilder. The next tape is actually the same one that was playing in the cabins of the video game. Further confirming my suspicions that a lot of these tapes were designed specifically for the campsite. It's a setup guide on how to use a piece of technology known as the Sleep Image Visualizer. It goes through some of the subjects' as names and how long they've used it. One of them being Jack Dean, which is Jack Wilder according to the missing article. Following that is one of the more eerie tapes called Games for Kids, explaining several party games that can be played with a group of children, spanning from hide and seek to sardines. But the main game they'd like us to focus on is called Feed the Woods. All players wait until it's very dark and your parents have fallen asleep. Sneak outside and gather all of your friends. Go into the woods. Walk until you cannot see the lights anymore. Scream at the top of your lungs. 
Not only is something picking off the children one by one during this game, but someone created this tape encouraging kids to leave their homes while their parents are asleep and not tell anyone where they're going. Advanced Mining Vehicle features a new machine capable of exploring the most dangerous areas of caves without needing a human to be present. But halfway through, something grabs hold of the machine and drags it further down into the earth. The rover continues to explore this new area, which is referred to as the Garden. We now see the rover caught in some kind of nest, unable to move as we witness a giant spider-like creature roaming the area, which seems similar to the one we saw in the Deep Blue. It has been confirmed that these creatures are called Gardeners. They seem to be protecting and building the nest while skinwalkers and wood crawlers explore the surface of Earth. The final video that I'll be covering is Deep Root Disease, a medical video on how to spot, you guessed it, Deep Root Disease, something that seems to infect humans and slowly takes over their bodies. The first stage of the disease has a bulb appear on the top of your skin, before roots start to form and spread to your bones. Once it comes into contact, it can use your bones to fully spread across your entire body and take over. Not only that, a lump appearing on the body is actually something we heard about earlier during the Lethal Omen game in one of the letters we found at Moonlight Acres. It appears the camp had been having some problems with deep root disease. So, what exactly is happening here? Well, a lot of it is more assumptions and theories than anything else, but from the evidence we've been given so far, this is what I feel we have. The Iris is a rogue planet that entered our solar system and has been infecting planets ever since, the first one being Neptune, and just recently it's made its way to Earth. A nest has now been formed under the surface that is tended to by the gardeners. This nest is referred to as a garden, which makes me believe it's used to grow the plant Nature's Mockery. Once the gardeners have produced nature's mockery, skinwalkers harvest the plant and take it to the surface and place it in human family homes. In the video Deep Root Disease, where it shows you an example of how you can contract the disease, it simply just shows you footage of someone sleeping in their home. And since we know that skinwalkers come banging on people's doors and taking people and using them as vessels, it makes me believe the skinwalkers are planting these things in humans' homes. Once a human comes into contact with nature's mockery, they develop Deep Root Disease, which takes over their body and eventually turns them into a wood crawler. It's possible that the woodcrawler then becomes nature's mockery and the cycle repeats until the whole planet has been infected. I say this because when seeing a woodcrawler in the first video, they refer to it as nature's mockery, and in the game, one of the monuments seemed to actually be nature's mockery, and a person's face can be seen inside, almost as if nature's mockery needs a human body to grow instead of soil. Moonlight Acres Camp was probably the first to experience all this due to one of the entrances of the garden being right outside of the camp. Skinwalkers came into the camp and began kidnapping employees and using them as the first batches of nature's mockery. But one day something happened which caused the camp to make a deal with the skinwalkers to stop this from happening. Rather than feeding on the employees, they may have offered to send children into the woods to be fed instead. They disguise this ritual as a game of feed the woods and separate the kids from their parents by having them sleep in separate cabins, and then encourage them to go out into the woods at night and scream at the top of their lungs. The environmental specialist Jack Wilder heard about this and began investigating himself, which led to his unfortunate demise. There's plenty more to explore in this world of Gemini Home Entertainment, and I do hope if you enjoyed what you saw here today, you'll visit the channel yourself and maybe come to your own conclusion on what exactly is going on. 
I know a lot of people are going to compare this to Local 58, but honestly, I do really believe it's made itself different enough to stand on its own two feet. There may be a few similarities here and there at the start, but you can tell the creator, Remy Abode, really tried to branch out and take the series into a different direction. And that's really all I have to say. Maybe I'll come back to this in future when more content is released and have a more detailed analysis of what's actually going on here. But for now, this is where I'll say goodbye. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next year.